So the cool thing about being a bait maker is you can really make anything you want to fish with. And recently I've been kind of on like a Spider-Man kick and I've been really wanting to make a Spider-Man fishing lure. But this dude named Gravity Lures already made one. So I was thinking maybe I could trade, make a bait and trade him for one of his Spider-Man fishing lures. So arguably what is cooler than Spider-Man? His villain, the Green Goblin. Godspeed, Spider-Man. Dude is a beast. <laughs> Intro's over, let's go make this bait. Hey, voiceover hunter here. This is just two pieces of poplar wood glued together by 5 Minute Epoxy. And then I also have a picture of the Green Goblin bait that I sketched out glued to the lure. So we're just gonna cut it out and then we'll move on from here. Okay, this is crazy. So here's the basic shape going on. You pop this little part off right here. It's kind of the shape we got going on. I'm gonna pop this part off right here. There we go. And here is our green goblin. I left a little material on the edges for his ears so that way they're 3D and stick out. Uh, the face is completely unrecognizable right now, but from the side, you can pretty much see what I'm going for. So we've got ears on both sides. So basically we're just gonna dremel all this material around the ear to remove it. That way the ear sticks out. All right, ears are done. And they're kind of blocky still, so we need to kind of fade them into the rest of the face. And this is only like the first part of the ear. If you look at this, Here's the first part of the ear. The ear still continues into the rest of the face and into down into the chin. So we need to fade this into there and then we'll have to remove material from here and here to kind of make this all look like it's one piece. But we needed these ears to stick out for the furthermost farther edges of this because this face is still gonna come down more to a point and we're kind of looking, we want more of a V shape. So we want this to kind of come down more like this but we need plenty of material to carve the face from and there's these big old bulky eyebrows so this is going to be more sharp so we're leaving tons of material for us to carve the rest of the lure's face from so our bait right now is looking a little chubby the back half turned out really well but look how chunky the face is so we're gonna have to slim this down a little bit on some lines where we're gonna remove the material this part is going to be his mouth, so we don't have to worry about this right now. We already have a nose. We kind of have the beginnings of his eyebrows. Look at those big old bugging eyes. Doesn't that look great? It was looking goofy earlier, but now we got those eyebrows and the eyes formed up a little bit. They're still a bit geometric, but once we get these sanded, this will look really nice. So here's a closer look. It is pretty much done. Last time when I made the Boba Fett lure, a lot of people wanted one. And I'm figuring since Spider-Man such a big thing, a few people will want this one. I do want to do a giveaway of one. So I'm going to mold it and make a few more of them. And so I'm going to mold this in silicone. <laughs> it just bounced off screen. All right, so um, I've made this one a bit darker so it'd cure faster and it makes it easier separation. And I've already kind of pulled it apart a bit. So we're just gonna finish pulling this mold apart. Go. Nice. Bam, bait comes out just like that. And now we can make an infinite number of green goblin baits. And they seem, the nose and stuff seem to come out. Everything seems good. We got venting. We just got to cut a little hole at the top for pouring liquid in. And we're ready to go. So I think we're going to make a few resin ones. But I do think for this video, for the sake of it, I kind of want a wooden version. for Gravity lures. So first, let's just clean this mold up. And let's pour some resin and see how they come out. If they come out good, then we'll get painting. If not, then we'll paint this wooden one. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Bam, now we can make an infinite number of green goblin lures. 
This is sweet. So I'm gonna make a few more and then we're gonna get them rigged up and ready to test because we gotta figure out the weight distribution on this thing. And so yeah. So about halfway through making this video, I thought it would be funny to go to Walmart and go buy one of those dinky Spider-Man poles that comes with like the really sucky little turd fishing lure. And so not only am I trying to make a fishing lure for gravity lures, I'm also gonna try and make a fishing lure that's better than Marvel. Because their one, if that's that, if you're gonna consider that's a, if that's a fishing lure, we count with this thing as a fishing lure. I'm technically making a better fishing lure than Marvel. So I'm gonna try fishing with this really dinky pole later in the video. But first, I gotta finish painting the lure. So put lead in the wooden lure. It works. The wooden lure works because it floats. But the two resin ones kind of sink and they don't really work right now. So I'll have to mess with those later. But for right now, let's get this one painted. So the bait is all ready to go and it's time to paint this thing. So for this bait, we're going to start off with a base coat of black because we have a lot of pearlized colors and those tend to sit better on a black bait. Now it's time for a little bit of this pearlized green. Now we got some nice green going. We're gonna take some of this pearl color shift purple and we're gonna go kind of fade it from the back to the front. Hey, voiceover hunter here again. So this part right here, I put gold on the eyes and then I took a little bit of orange and kind of blended that into the gold. That way the eyes would be pretty reflective and cool looking. And now video hunter, take it away. So the wooden bait is pretty much done. I'm pretty satisfied with the way this looks. It looks real cool, nice color shift. Uh, I had some practice before because I made those molds. These ones are slightly different. Like this one doesn't have a black base coat. That's why it's so light green. This one, I kind of was practicing around the eyes and stuff. You can see on this version, I got the dark de details pretty good in between all the cracks and stuff, as well as the silver teeth. So I was able to get that all stuff that done. This one, I also, on the picture, the face is kind of yellow, so I thought I could spray it. Doesn't look as good. I like it more with this darker green. So we're gonna clear coat this bait and get it done. Just looking at this thing in the clear coat, this looks awesome. Better than I imagined entirely. So I'm gonna finish dripping this and then we'll get under the UV light and then we'll take a look at it after that. All right, I've got the finished bait in my hand. I'm gonna do a little, I gotta make this little reveal video for it. And so I'll see you guys in a second. So not only did I make this green goblin bait, I actually made two more. I made a hobgoblin one that was orange and blue, and then I also made one that was based off concept art, and it's like battle damage. It's like a lighter green, it's got battle damage, and the face is cracked and stuff. So those are those baits. So I decided to take the other two green goblin baits fishing, and here's how it went. All right, we got the green goblin lure, we're about to fish it, we also have the we also have the ultimate Spider-Man combo. So we got the Spider-Man reel and we got the Green Goblin. This is the battle damage one from the concept art, you know, on the Spider-Man rod. So uh, we're gonna try and catch some big ones. So I put in about two days worth of fishing in on the kayak and didn't get a single bite and my back was starting to hurt. So me and my buddy Hiram, that we were gonna get life jackets on and go float out in this part of the lake and go fish just indirectly in the water. So here's how that went. Wait, fish on. <laughs> yes, sir. He's not really fighting. Did you kill him? Is he good? Is he all right? He's not fighting at all. Here, can you hold my pole? Yeah. Oh, he got, oh shoot, ow, I just stepped on a, I just stepped on a can or something. He got, he got hooked with a second hook. <laughs> Bruh. 
so this fish he he was he got hooked in the mouth but pulling him in he hooked himself in the stomach he got snagged on there and uh we don't know we, we got pliers we're trying to keep him alive we're not trying to kill him but uh Hiram said if he dies that's something the green goblin would do so we're just trying to keep get some air through his gills and we're gonna try and do uh fish surgery so oh, there we go all right cool the fish is free all right I'm just gonna aerate his gills a little bit and let him go there he goes he's straight chilling all right cool we didn't kill a fish today Hiram we performed surgery good for us cool all right well the bait is a success I think honestly looking at this it's definitely better than anything Marvel has put out uh gravity lures dude you want it just trade deal here you go you trade I'll, I'll hit you up anyways if you guys want to see my last video I made a marlin lure for marlin baits it's pretty cool you can check it out right here and thanks for watching see you guys next time